In this lecture, we are going to create a separate module for our movies route and then we are going to use it in our app. Let's go to VS Code. And the first thing which I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it routes. Inside this folder, let's create a new file and let's call it moviesroute.js because this file is going to contain all the routes related to movies. Then let's go to app.js and from there, let's cut these movies routes and let's paste it inside this moviesroute.js file. Now here we are using this express package. So we also need to go ahead and import that package. So here let's create a variable. Let's call it express. And to import a package, we use the require function. And to that, we need to specify the package which we want to require here. So we want to require this express package. We want to import this express package. Now it is also a good practice that when you are creating a separate file for your routes, Instead of calling it something like movies router, you simply call it as router. Okay. And let's use it here and here. So this is just a convention. Finally, let's go ahead and let's export this router from this movies routes.js file. And here, since we are going to export a single thing here, we can use module dot exports. And to this, let's assign the router. So this is the router which we want to export from this moviesroutes.js file. Let's save this file. Now here we are also using this get all movies, create movies, get movies, update movies and delete movies route handler functions. And these functions are defined inside this app.js file. So if I scroll up, we have these route handler functions defined here. So we also need to copy these functions from here. So let's go ahead and let's copy them. And actually let's cut it from here and let's go ahead and let's move it inside this file. So after we are importing this express package, after that, I'm going to paste these functions, these route handler functions. And now these route handler functions are available inside this movies routes.js file. So now we can use them here. Okay. Let's save the changes again inside this movies routes.js file and now let's go to app.js and there we need to import this movies routes.js so let's scroll up and here let's go ahead and let's create a new variable let's call it movies router and to export this package we are going to use this require function and to this require function since it is our user defined module we need to specify the path of that file this movies routes.js file so it is in current directory and from there we need to go to this routes folder and in there we have this movies routes.js file now here we don't need to include .js extension okay and with this if i save the changes here we are not seeing any error let's go ahead and let's make a request from the postman just to test if our apis are working correctly or not so i will go to this get all movies tab and from there I will make a get request to this API to get all movies in the result. So when I click on the send button here, we are receiving some error and here it says movies is not defined. Let's go back to VS code and let's go to this movies route.js file. So here basically we are trying to use this movies array, right? So we also need to get that array which we have here. So let's copy it from here or let's cut it from here and let's go ahead and let's paste it inside this movies route.js file. So here, let's also paste that line. Now let's save the changes. And here again, we have some error. So it says FS is not defined. So we also need to get this FS package from here. So I'll cut it from here and I'll go to this movies route.js because here, if you see, we are trying to use this FS package, but we have not imported it. So let's import it here. Now again, let's save the changes. Okay. Let's go back to Postman and let's again try to make a request. And now in the response, we are getting all the movies. All right. So now this movies routes module, it is working as expected. From here, we are exporting our route. So here we are exporting the router. And here we are importing it. And then we are using it at this line. 
using this app.use. So this router will be applied to this path. Now let's go back to movies routes.js file. And here what I want is I don't want to keep these route handler functions inside this movies route.js file. Here I simply want to define all these routes, but I don't want to have all these route handler functions inside this file. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call this folder controllers. And in this folder, we want to keep all the route handler functions inside a file. So here you might say that it makes sense to name this folder as handlers. Then why are we naming it as controllers? That's because later in this course, we are going to use a software architecture called MVC. And there, these handlers are called as controllers. And that's why we are going to call this folder as well as the files inside this folder as controllers. So inside this controllers folder, we are going to create a new file and we are going to call this file movies controller. So it's just a convention that when you're creating a controller in the file name, you should have this controller. Okay. Now this file is going to be a JavaScript file. So we need to use this .js extension. And inside this file from this movies route.js, I'm going to copy all these route handler functions. And we also need this movies array and we also need this FS module. So I'm going to cut it from here and I'm going to paste it inside this movies controller.js. Okay. Now from this file, we want to export this get all movies. We also want to export this get movie function. We want to export this create movie function and we want to export this update movie as well as this delete movie function. So from this file, we want to export multiple functions. So here we cannot use module dot exports. So here what we need to do is we need to export these functions as a method of the exports object, something like this. Okay. Let's do the same thing for other functions as well. So let's scroll up there. Let me replace this const with exports dot. Same thing I'm going to do here. For this get movie also. And for this get all movies also. Okay. Let's save this file. Now. To use these route handler functions, we need to import them in movies route.js file. Because that's where we want to use this get all movies, create movie, get movie, update movie, and delete movie functions. And these functions are now defined inside this movies controller.js file. So, first of all, let's go ahead and let's import this movies controller.js file inside this movies routes.js file. For that, I'm going to create a variable. I will call it movies controller. Okay. And to import this movies controller.js, we are going to use the require function. And in there, we are going to specify the path of this movies controller.js file. So from the current directory, we need to move one directory up to the root directory. In there, we have this controllers folder. Okay, so let's select that. And in there, we have this movies controller file. All right. So now inside this movies routes.js file, we have all these functions available and these functions are available as a method to this movies controller object okay so this movies controller here is similar to this exports when we are creating these functions as a method on this exports object basically that exports object will be exported here inside this movies controller so we need to access these movies on this movies controller object so i'll copy it from here and here it should be movies controller dot get all movies in the same way, here it should be movies controller dot create movie. Here it should be movies controller dot get movie. And here it should be movies controller dot update movie. And finally, it should be movies controller dot delete movie. With this, let's save the changes. Okay, and now let's go back to Postman and let's test our APIs. So here, let me make a get request to this URL to get all the movies in the response when I click on the send button. Okay, we are getting all the movies in the response. Let's also test it by going to this get movie by ID. And there we want to get that movie in the response whose ID is 5. Let me click on this send button. So here also we are getting the response. So our API is working as expected. The only change which we have done here is we have created a controller file and we have created a router file. 
And now if we go to this app.js, now our app.js file is a bit leaner. So let's move all these imports in one place. Okay. Then let me scroll down and let's remove these comments from here. All right. And finally, here we are creating our server. And here we are using the route. Finally, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this file server.js. Okay, so we are creating this server.js file simply because it's a good practice to have everything related to Express.js in a separate file and everything related to server in another main file. Now inside this server.js file, I'm going to copy this line where we are creating the server and listening to the requests on that server. So now this server.js file, it is going to be our starting file where everything will start. And it is here where we start the server and listen to the requests on the server. Now here, in order to use this listen method, we need this app object. So here we need to import this app object. And we are creating this app object inside this app.js file. So from here, we need to export that app object. So since we want to export only a single thing here, a single object, here we are going to use module.exports. And to that, let's assign this app object. And from within this server.js, let's go ahead and let's import that app object. So here I'm going to create a variable, I'll call it app. And to import this app object, let's use this require function there. Let's specify the module which we want to export. So here we want to export app object from app.js file. So here we need to specify the path of app.js file. So it is in current directory and the file name is app. All right. With this, if I save the changes, all right, we don't have any error here. Let's go back to Postman and let's see if these APIs are still working. So I will click on the send button to get all the movies. And it says could not send request. That's because now the entry point is this server.js file and not the app.js file. So here we need to run server.js and not app.js. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this process by pressing control C and let's go ahead and let's run server.js. So here let's say nodemon space server.js. If I press enter, so the server has started. Let's go back to Postman again and let's again make this request. And now in the response, we are receiving all the movies. Let's go to this get movie by ID. There also let's make a request. So here also we are receiving the response. That means this API is also working as expected. So our express app is still working. The only thing which we have done is we have refactored our code. So now this server.js is our main entry point. Later on, we will actually add other stuffs in this file that is not related to express but still related to our application. For example, things like database configuration or error handling logics or setting environment variables, all those things will go inside this server.js file. Okay, so now this server.js is going to be our new entry point for this Express app. Now, before wrapping up this lecture, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to this package.json file and here I'm going to create a new script because let's say if the new developer comes and if he starts working on this project, and he's not aware which file is the entry point for this application, then he will not know whether he has to run app.js or server.js or any other JS file from this project. So in order to make things simple, we are going to create a new script. I'm going to call this script start. And here we are going to provide the script. So here the script is going to be nodemon space server.js. Okay. Let's save this package.json file. Let me stop this process by pressing control C. And now instead of running server.js, I am going to run this start script. And to run this start script, we have to type this command npm start. So what it will do is it will run this command, this nodemon space server.js. And internally it is going to start server.js. Okay. So in this way, no one has to remember which is the entry point of this project in order to start the application. He can simply go and run this command npm start and this command will internally start the server.js file. So if I go ahead and if I run this command, you will see the server has started. So basically internally 
this node mon space server dot js command has run and now the server is again up and running so let's test one of the apis one last time here so i will click on this send button to send a get request to this endpoint and we should receive the response okay so our api is still working all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day